What's up guys? Um, we're going to be doing a sheet set manager tutorial today and uh, let's get started. Um, so the first thing you need to do is open up your title block drawing which I have on my screen right now. Um, so to get sheet set manager to work you need to use what we call fields. Now fields can be used one of two ways. Um, the way I'll be demonstrating it today is going to be using attributes. Um, you can also do it using M text or multi-line text. The only problem is, is when you insert your title block and if you're using M text for your fields, you have to explode your title block with attributes. You do not need to do that. Um, so this title block right here is already set up to do the fields, um, but I'll show you guys how to do it real quick. So first things first, you need to know how to use an attribute. Now, attributes aren't hard to use. Um, honestly, the easiest way to get to it is typing in ATT on your keyboard, and you'll notice them, they're right here. Um, now, um, from here, this is where you would set your justification and your text and your fonts and all that fun jazz. Um, the one thing to note here is a tag cannot contain a space. So, for instance, if I was creating a new tag for project number, so if I want to do this, this cannot happen. So what I would have to do is put an underscore in there. And of course I can always put a hashtag there and kind of save myself a little bit of typing. That works fine, but you cannot have a space. Now for the prompt, the prompt can pretty much say whatever you want, um, preferably typed correctly, um, as this is gonna follow <laughs> wherever your project goes. And the default, this is where the fields take place. So. The fields can be inserted by clicking this little button here, or in some cases you won't see this button. And if that's the case, if you right click and you go to insert field, you can get to it as well. Now in there, you'll see that there's, gives you kind of a slew of things that are already available to you. Now project number actually does exist in here. It's right there. So I can use project number just by clicking on that and hitting okay. Now you know it's a field because you'll see these hashtags here. But note, when I hit OK and I place it, you will not see those hashtags. So if we zoomed in on what I have done already right here, if I double click on it, you'll notice it has hashtags. Also when I double click on it, if you notice there is no button to modify it here. So what you have to do is click on it, right click and go to edit field. And then from here, you can modify it. Now, for ones that aren't in here, like total sheets, if we double click on that guy and we click on him here and we right click and go to edit field, you'll notice that total sheets is using something called current sheet set custom. And when I click on there and I go to here, it'll, I have to type this in manually. Now the key is to make sure you remember exactly how you put this in there. So if you called it total SH, you need to write it down that way. Um, now, what I do is I create a sticky note, and on that sticky note, I create all my set custom ones. So here's the ones that modify for the entire set, and here's the ones that modify per sheet. So I have a little sticky notes off to my side, and that's how I type them in. Now notice, if it has an underscore here, it needs to have an underscore over here, and vice versa. You need to remember exactly how you typed it in. I'm going to move these off to the side now. So you'll see I have total, this again is per set, meaning the total number of sheets does not change per page. All right, so then again, anytime anything's per the whole entire set, make sure you use sheet set custom. Now, when something changes per sheet, perhaps the CAD drafter changes per sheet. Um, if you click on that one there, and I go to edit field, if you notice that one set up as current sheet custom uppercase, so meaning that one there will change for every individual sheet, possibly. Sometimes it won't, but if there's a chance it will, you want to make sure this is set up correctly. And again, remembering which ones are part of which one works great. So meaning these are all part of individual sheets. So these are all current sheet set custom right here. And these are set custom, meaning current sheet set custom. So again, current sheet custom current sheet set custom, meaning these are per the entire set, these change per sheet. All right. 
I'm going to hit OK and hit OK. So once your title block is set up like that, you can just click Save and create a new drawing. Now we're going to create a new drawing real quick. So we're going to go to New. Um, there we go. Civil 3D, Imperial NCS. Again, I'm just going to kind of use the defaults here, just showing you don't need to use anything special. Um, I'm going to go into Layout Space here, and I'm going to insert that title block. I just removed the viewport. So let's go to Insert Block, Browse. There's my title block. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit OK. I'm not going to change anything there. I'm just going to let it insert, and it's going to look funky. Uh, but don't worry, it's going to change. So I'm going to call this one Rename Sheet 2. And Rename Sheet 3. I don't know why I called it Sheet 2, but I'm going to keep with it. I already started it. In fact, you know what I'll do is I'm just going to create a copy here. We'll delete this one out and then we'll just cheat. So I created one sheet here. I'm just going to move a copy, create a copy, move to the end. And I'll rename it. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you it's going to change on all the sheets. I won't have to go to each individual sheet to do this. Um, so I'm just going to create a few layout spaces here. So I'm just going to copy it around. You don't necessarily need to do this to do the tutorial with me here, but um, if you want to follow click for click, that's what I'm doing. There we go. So I created some other sheets. Now, if you notice, all these other sheets are not set up. Um, they all look like a bunch of hashtags, right? Um, but that's instantly going to change in a moment here. So when this is done and I have everything set up, I want to save this sheet first. If you do not save this sheet first after you create a new sheet, man, you'll give yourself a headache trying to figure out what went wrong. So make sure you save before you do anything with Sheet Set Manager yet. Um, so I'm going to save this again, and I'm just going to kind of come over to my CAD videos, projects, uh, Sheet Set Manager, and I'm going to call this uh, Multi Sheets. Why not? I'm gonna, just going to give it a different name because um, you'll notice why in a second. You'll know why in a second why I'm going to do that. So save. Now, um, you don't have to keep all of your layouts in one page. They can be spread across multiple drawings. That's fine. So if I went to this one here and I went to File, Save As, and I called this Multi Sheets 2 and Save, and then I went in here and renamed these to uh, 5, rename 6, and rename 7. So I'm going to rename these. So I have two sets of drawings now. Um, now, you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to close out of all of it. And I'm going to make sure I save. Again, you got to save. I'm going to go right back to the beginning. File, close. I'm just going to start a brand new drawing. Now, note, I'm not in any of those drawings right now. You could have stayed in them. That's fine. But I'm going to show you. You don't have to be. So I'm going to type in sheet set. Now, if you notice, I already have a sheet set open. Um, I'm going to close out of the sheet set and close out of all the sheet sets that I'm in here. You don't have to. If you're in one, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go to new sheet set. Now, when you're starting a sheet set for the very first time, odds are you're not going to have an example yet. But once you do this once, you can use it as an example so that you don't have to re-manually type all this stuff in every time, meaning this stuff here. You'll see what I mean in a moment when I go to the next tab. Now I'm going to call this guy something different. I'm going to call it uh, Project Man, caps lock man, Project X. Now you notice where this .dst file is going to save. It's going to save under that project folder right now, which is probably a good thing. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, now here's where I'm going to set all of these custom items right here. So these custom items I told you to write down for later. They're going to be set right here. Oops, there we go. Get them off the page. All right, so let's go to Sheet. And let's go to Edit Custom Properties, because this is where we're going to add them. And I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to type them in. Now, this is where it's got to be perfect. So again, here's all the set ones. I'm going to do all the set ones first. Then I'm going to do the sheet ones. So let's begin. Total Sheets. XX. Now, if you want to, fine. We could say total sheets by default is 10, whatever. Add. Now, we're going to say date. And now, you're going to put in here. Now, what I like to do is hint at what, what kind of format I like to use. Um, so, this way, when somebody's looking at it, they'll be like, all right, Brandon likes to use the uh, 
back backslashes. So again, um, I'm gonna put the next one in, QA slash QC. And again, this is usually initial, so I'm gonna put three X's there. You don't have to do that, and you can put in your initials if you want, if you're gonna be the only ones working on it. That's, man, we really butchered that one. Project location, and again, for something like this, I might put a bunch of X's with a little comma, and then XX. Now, I typically use X's for anything that needs to be changed or remember to change, because it sticks out like a sore thumb to me. So, uh, I'm gonna hit add here, and now I'm gonna go to sheet. Now, the sheet ones, are gonna be scale. Now I might kind of put something like this in, if that's kind of the format I would like them to use. And then again, I'm gonna continue, I got CAD. And again, this one is just simple initials and the next one's gonna be easy as well. It's just engineer and uh, same thing. Now again, I'm typing them in exactly as they were typed here. Again, if I had space here, not space. I can't stress this enough because if you don't type it in exact, it will not work and it will drive you nuts. All right, okay, okay. And I'm gonna hit okay here. I'm not gonna change this now. You can, but I'm not going to. Now I'm gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask you to specify the folder which houses the drawings you wanna add to the sheet set. So let's browse Project Sheet Set Manager. Perfect. Now notice it's giving me all the drawings that are in there. Now I don't want all of them. Um, I don't want that one and I don't want that one. So if you notice the only ones I want are these layouts here. And again, why I kind of named them nice, it kind of sticks out very nicely. Perfect. So I'm gonna click next. And you'll see it's gonna kind of give you a rundown of importing them. And I'm gonna click finish. Now it's gonna go through and again, I kind of messed this up, right? Um, I have sheet two here and the sheet one, you know, but it doesn't make a difference. It all works just fine. Um, so from here, I can just modify these things without being in the project. So let's open up this one sheet here. To open it up, all you gotta do is double click. Now you didn't need to open it up, but just for fun, you can kind of see that this stuff is not filled out correctly other than the stuff I already kind of went through and did. Now I'm gonna go through here and type in rename and renumber. And I'm gonna say this is now sheet two and I'm just gonna name it the project for the sheet two. There we go, sheet two, next. And I'm gonna rename it this. And again, I'm just gonna kinda of get, so I'm just kinda of going through and renumbering them real quick. Um, perfect, perfect, next. And uh, there we go. You could do this another way too. You don't have to go through this, uh, this rigmarole here, but uh, I just wanted to go through and just kinda of quickly fix this. Now, what you're gonna notice is I'm doing all the sheets here um, now, total sheets will not automatically update. That's still a manual deal for me. Um, I still have to put that in myself. There we go. And sheet seven, perfect. And we'll hit okay. So now I went through and redid this. Now you might be questioning it and going, hey, Brandon, it didn't change. Um, if something doesn't change, doesn't change, sorry, just type in REA -E and you'll notice, boom, changed. Now, if you notice, I wasn't even on these other sheets, but look at that. Perfect, perfect. So it goes through and I'm modifying all the other sheets, even the sheet five, I'm not even in this sheet right now, but if I double click on it, you'll notice I'm modifying it. So let's go into here now and let's go to properties. So this is for the entire set. So I'm gonna go to properties of that and I'm gonna put in my set items. And these are my sheet items, but that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna say by and add, add these as your defaults, no big deal. All right, so here's my set items. So right now, if you look right here, the set items, you know, right, not really good. So we're gonna go here and go to properties, scroll down, and I'll set them up here. So today's date, oh one. And again, this is why I put kind of my format like that. So if I want to do something like that, I can put it in. Now if I REA, there's the date. And the date not only changed on that sheet, it changed on sheet six, it changed on sheet seven, it changed on sheet two. Well, not yet, but maybe after regen. There we go. And there we go. So again, it's two separate page, two separate drawings, but it looks like it's all one right here. Um, so let's continue to change all the properties under there. Um, let's go through here. So project location is Chicago, Illinois. There we go. It was controlled by me. And let's say how many sheets did we actually have? 
Um, we're just going to say seven. We'll say sheet one's to be continued. So, all right, so we'll just do a regen here. There we go. And it will update everything there. Now, you might be noticing, Brandon, there's a bunch of uh, dashes right there. That's the project name. So, let's go back into properties here and give it a project name. The project name is going to be AIMCAD. AIMCAD videos. Perfect. There we go. Regen. There it is, AIMCAD videos. And uh, the other thing that's wrong is this project number here. So again, if we go back in there, and you could have done this all there, you didn't have to keep getting out, but I'm just doing it to show you. There we go, regen. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. So now with all that being done, if you notice, if I go over here, it may not look like it's done, but if you type in REA enter, it'll automatically update everything. Now. Not only is this neat for changing your title blocks without even being in the drawings, because you don't even have to be in them to modify any of this stuff. All you have to do is open up that DST now. Um, but one other benefit is you can plot the entire set. Um, so if you right click on here, you can easily go to publish and you can create a PDF set, if you like, of the entire thing. And again, it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. I'm just gonna throw mine to my desktop here and it will plot in the background, and it will create a set. So this way you didn't have to go through and print each individual seat, sheet. You can work on something, and while well, everything else is going on in the background instead of the way we used to do it, which is print and sit and wait, print, 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 and it would take up all your time. Now I can print the entire set without sitting and staring at my computer now. Um, so again, another benefit of Sheets Set, sheet set Manager. Again, this was the Sheet Set Manager tutorial. Again, please hit that like button if you liked the video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And again, I'll catch you guys on the next time here. And next video will be going over the difference between attributed title blocks and MTEX when using fields. Again, attributes, this, this one here is the better way to do it. But you can also do it using MTEX, which I will show you in another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.